Girlfriends? Any girlfriends? Any any uh, engagements or anything going on? No, no. not yet. But a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of travel. I was very of, happy to see that you have all female like accompanists. Yeah. Now is that is that a You're plan to, to have beautiful girls <laughs> accompany yeah. you? Yeah, you know, yeah. Hildevo is all about romance. So okay, romance exactly. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. <laughs> so you beat this up, and it gets nice and fluffy. Add about uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. And then your meringue is ready. So you have some over there. Oh, okay, that's that's probably enough grapefruit and zest. Uh, yeah. yeah. You sure? We have, we have enough zest for about 3,300 meringues. That's far enough now. But at least they know how to do it now. Okay, so that's your meringue. And you just whip this until soft peaks are formed. Peaks like the Alps. So here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we form the... You have one bowl over there that's already. I'm going to leave this one just the vanilla because I think it's. Isn't that a pretty color? Wow. Yeah. Amazing, so, yeah. so just fold this up over there, oh. and um, and that one will go now. I'm going to turn this oh. off, oh. and that one will be put on the uh, on the mix on the machine, and it will be beaten into a nice frothy mixture like that. And so this is the way you make the hearts. Oh. Wow. You take a little heart cookie cutter like this. And you put it on your parchment paper and then spoon the meringue mixture. Use, use this pink one. Why don't you try that? Chris? All right. Let me see. Yes. Yes. Pulsating so I just put it here. And here you can do this one. Uh, You're good at filling hearts on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there. My, my job. So, oh, is there any, there, there must be zest in there. Maybe not. Here, stir, oh, in, oh, stir yeah. in a little <laughs> zest. Okay. Can you stir that in and just before you, oh, before this you, yeah, stir it stir. in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, <laughs> like last time. Urs, you want to come over? You want to come over here, Urs, and, and, and help? Help? They need help. Yeah, let me do some. Okay. Here. <laughs> so you do this one. <laughs> Just you use one spoon, and, and you can do one too. Here, use two. You have to use two spoons here, and there's two for you. Okay. And fill those little hearts without moving them. Yeah, that's good. You're very You're good, good at this. Yeah. yeah, very good. You've now fill it all the way. Oh, over here. Yeah. Let me put this one. Don't get this dirty. Oh, then, oh yeah. <laughs> You understand why Spanish got their moms cooking? Yeah, you yeah. bet. What about paella? Good paella? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, my mom does it very well, but I'm a very bad cook, I must say. Okay, now don't move because yeah, see what's okay. happening here. Yeah, okay, now yeah. you pick move this up. Hearts. Pick that up. All right, look at and that. And see, you have a perfect heart. Yeah. And do another one. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Mm, yummy. Fantastisch. Fantastisch. <laughs> Are you speaking German? Okay, so now these will go back in the oven, but we're going to finish all this up when we come back. You know, it's hard working with four men like this. Okay. Martha, it's B.Y. Hey, Il Divi. Il Divi. But it must be Il Divi, if it's correct. Yeah. I'm back with Il Divo, a.k.a. Il Divi. Il Divi. I've been Divi. checking my Italian. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just finishing up our beautiful meringue hearts. They have come out of the oven. They were in 225 for about three and a half hours. And they are dry and light and just like a nice meringue. Uh, don't try and make this on a really humid, rainy day because it's a little bit harder to get them to be dry. Mm. So, um, so if you um, just put these out on the plates, one, right. choose whichever color you want, okay? Yeah. That's just the brown, sh that's just the sugar. Uh, so one in each plate? Yeah, one on each plate, oh, please. Thanks. And now to make the wonderful topping, uh, use your new cuisine art, which you just got. <laughs> and uh, puree the raspberries. They puree so quickly and fabulously. Uh, and you can pulse. This is called pulsing. Get it all mixed up and then put this, because raspberries have lots of little seeds, uh, you want to get rid of the seeds uh, for your puree. And you just, oh, and a secret is to put your finger um, right in, the, um, in this part. You leave it in there and just turn it this way. That way it won't fall out into your bowl. And uh, put that through, yeah, right into the bottom. It holds the blade. Otherwise, you have a sharp blade falling into your puree and blah, blah. And you can turn it around and get underneath it this way. So this helps a lot to hold it in there. Okay, um, David, can you just push that through the sieve? Hard, yeah, kind of hard. And then you have push your whipped hard. cream. Yeah, push hard in this. What you're making, you see, is a nice puree. See, it's dripping uh -huh. through with no seeds. So you're straining. Now, this is the puree that I made. You don't even have to add any sugar to it. And just put it into a bowl of whipped cream. 
Just that like that. Yeah. And then just gently oh, stir. Don't over stir. We're going to end up like Pavel with you. No, you won't. <laughs> uh, well, you might. You never know. <laughs> But Pavarotti sings very well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. And then this can go on top. Look at that. Or alongside. And a beautiful raspberry or two. Oh, wow. And you have a fantastic heart dessert that oh. everybody's going to love. Now, don't think you're finished because each of you is going to pass through our audience oh. a meringue heart. such great sous chefs. Come back anytime, guys. Coming up, a great food thing to do with the kids. Homemade quicksand. Save 